okay so now let's go ahead and make these ui button works as well okay so open up the input manager script and then right here as you know that in the input button flag we have the first button which is for sprinting okay since our movement input and camera input now works using the joystick now we need to make this sprint button workable in the mobile device we have added the ui button for it now let's actually make the player sprint using this button so if you scroll down right here we have this handle sprinting input method in which as you can see we allow the player to sprint now we allow the player to sprint using the uh, shift button now we also want to make the player sprint using the mobile button okay so for the mobile button right after the awake method what we're gonna do we're gonna create now a public method by the name of on sprint button down okay and when we press the sprint button we want the sprint input to be equals to true okay then create one more method which will be public void on sprint button up and this make the sprint input equals to false now i'm going to tell you how you can set up this okay so open up the mobile controls okay select the sprint button right there on the sprint button go ahead and add a component by the name of event trigger okay then right here click on this add new event type and add a event which is right here pointer down and also add another event which is pointer up now in the pointer down click plus sign and also in the pointer up click the plus sign and then we need to drag and drop the player in both of them okay when you drag and drop the player in both of them then go inside the input manager script and from the input manager script select this method which we created right now which is on sprint button down okay and then in the pointer up select the another method which is on sprint button up okay and now our sprint button will work on the mobile device as well okay you can play the game let's start it okay for now if we control the player movement using the keyboard okay as you can see we can't control it now using the keyboard so we are unable to test this button now since we can uh, only interact with one button but if you just go ahead and test this on a android device the sprint button gonna work okay we're gonna test this game on an android device but in the end okay once we add all of the buttons so now the sprint button works now now let's go ahead and make the jump button work so we're gonna do the same thing for the jump button okay right after this make a public method by the name of on jump button pressed okay in this we're gonna make the jump input set to true and also we will say start coroutine and call the reset jump input okay now let's create this method right down below we will say 
enumerator reset jump button in this we will first of all wait for 0 0.2 seconds so we will say yield return new wait for seconds and we want to wait for 0 0.2 seconds and after that set the jump input to false okay now the next button is the shoot button so let's make the shoot button work for the shoot button create a new method by the name of on shoot button down and in this we will set the shoot input to true then create one more method by the name of by the name of on shoot button up and in this we're gonna make the shoot input false after the shoot button we have the reload button so let's make a method for that button as well okay we will create a method on reload button pressed so when it is pressed we will set the reload input to true and then we will say start coroutine and this call the reset reload input method Now write down below, let's create this method. This will be of type enumerator. Okay. In here, we will first of all wait for two seconds and then we will set the reload input to false. Okay, now after the reload, we have the scope input. So for the scope input, create a first method by the name of on scope button down in which set the scope input to true and then create another method by the name of on scope button up and in that set the scope input to false okay after the scope we have the crouch so for the crouch let's make a method okay we're gonna name this method as toggle crouch input in which we're gonna set the crouch input to not crouch input and then in order to uncrouch it will do it automatically since we set it to is not crouch okay and if you scroll down we have this handle crouch input right here in which we set it to false so it's gonna work automatically now after the crouch we don't have any other buttons so it means we are now good to go okay so just save the script and now let's set up all of these buttons at once so previously we set up our sprint button as you can see it is set up so we just gonna leave that and select the other buttons except the sprint okay and select them all, all of the buttons like this and then add a component to it which is by the name of event system okay when you add that okay not even system select all of the buttons and remove this event system we have to add the event trigger okay so add event trigger right there okay when you add event trigger as you can see on all of them it is added so let's start first of all from the shoot button now so add a pointer down event then a pointer up event okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on plus sign in both of them and drag and drop the player in them and then from the input manager let's select the on shoot button down okay make sure that you select the correct method for each of the button and also for their events okay so select this on shoot button down for the pointer down event and now for the pointer up we're gonna go inside the input manager script and select the on shoot button up okay make sure that you follow me step by step and add these methods correctly now for the 
scope add to events first of all pointer down then pointer up so for the pointer down add plus sign then for the pointer up as well drag and drop the player in both of them and from the input manager now select the on scope button down and then in this one select the on scope button up okay now we have the reload so add to event pointer down okay actually in the reload we don't have to add the event okay or the event trigger component so just remove that from the reload button in the reload button what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the on click event so add a on click event drag and drop the player in there and then in the input manager script we're gonna select this method on reload button pressed that's it now for the sprint we're gonna use the event trigger as you can see we already set it up now for the crouch we will also be not be using the event trigger so you can remove the component and now in this one we're gonna use the on click event so drag and drop the player in there from the input manager select the where is it it is by the name of toggle crouch so tt okay right here toggle crouch input select that and for the jump we're gonna also be using the on click event not the event trigger so remove the event trigger and add a on click event drag and drop the player and now in this from the input manager select the on jump button pressed that's it so now let's check these buttons in this we add on shoot then on scope on reload uh, and then in this we have the on sprint then we have the crouch then we have the jump all right so all of the buttons are added okay the last button which is remaining is this button which is for changing the rifle so in the player ui select this rifle as you can see on this rifle we added this button component so add a on click event to it drag and drop the player right there and in this i think we didn't create a method for changing the rifle so let's go ahead and do it okay uh, for this if we open up the player script then the weapon script and on the weapon script you will notice that we have a method right here let me check actually it's not on the weapon script i think it is on the weapon switch uh, script so open up the weapon switch script and right here as you can see we have this method for changing the weapons okay by the name of toggle weapon so we're going to use that method so get back to player ui select the rifle and in this add the same player and now we will not select the input manager we're going to select the weapon switcher and in this select the toggle weapon right there okay we created this method when we were working on weapon switching so make sure that you add that now then after this just disable the camera manager whole game object get back to simulator let's start the game and test out all of the buttons okay so right here let's start the game all right let's switch the rifle as you can see let me to the other side so that you guys can see the weapon okay so there is the weapon in the player hand okay if we press it again it removes the weapon and we press it it as you can see change the rifle okay now uh, this is the camera movement now if you try to jump as you can see the player can jump okay the player can move 
and rotate the camera and the player can jump as well now the player can crouch as you can see and if we have the rifle we can shoot as well and also let's reload okay the player can reload as well let's now uncrouch so if you press it now as you can see there it is let's shoot and reload again okay the player is reloading and for now we can't test out the sprint button because we can't select two buttons when we are in simulator mode but as you can see we can now scope in and scope out as well using that button if you press anywhere else it can't work but if you press this button as you can see the player can go in scope mode as well okay so now all of the button works perfectly fine and as you can see now the help bar is not interactable we can't do anything when we click right here in the help bar okay and also if you want to change the camera speed then click on resource open up the player and we have the camera manager right there then you can now increase the look speed and the pivot speed and according to your own liking so just go ahead and do that and also you can test out the game on your android device as well okay and with this done let's end this video right here